Hello guys, my name is Basil, and today I'm going to be talking to you about Scratch. Um, now, Scratch is a programming language. It's, um, it's a way to make games, it's a way to make animations, and um, it's different from other ones because it's very basic. Um, that's its whole... Um, that's what makes it unique. It's almost like um, a stepping stone into other uh, more advanced programming languages, and it kind of it gets you going if you've never programmed before. Um, and I'm going to teach you the very basics of Scratch. Today we will be making a very simple project. Um, I will just show you briefly um, what this project does. And um, we always start a project by pressing the green flag. So as you can see, this is the project. Um, so our Scratch cat over here, um, this is the default sprite. Um, he was thinking, hmm, and then um, the other character came in, called Gogo, Gobo, and um, he came in and he asked, what were you thinking, and Scratch Cat replied, I was thinking, hmm. So this is what we're going to be making today, and um, I'll be showing you how, And but first, I'm going to sh show you how to download Scratch. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go to the Scratch website. And um, the web address is scratch.mit.edu. Um, so you want to download Scratch from here um, using the download Scratch button, obviously. Um, but also, you're going to want to bookmark this page as well or favorite it because we're going to be coming back to this um, for all the other things that you can do on this website. But for now, we're just going to download Scratch from here. And as you can see, there are free downloaders, and there's one for Mac, there's one for Windows, and there's one for Ubuntu. Um, I'm using a Mac, so I would click this one, but if you're using a Windows, you'd obviously click this one instead. Um, so, obviously, you download that, um, and you'd finish the downloading process. And then we're going to go to Scratch, and um, I'll just quickly... Sh this, is what a, this is what a default project is going to look like. Uh, it's going to look like this. Um, so when you open up Scratch for the first time, you should see this. Um, so now we're going to uh, make uh, the project that I showed you out of this. Okay. So the first thing you should know is Scratch is based around blocks. Um, in most programming languages, you type stuff into a keyboard, and that is how you'd make things work. That's how you would, you know, you uh, programming. That's how you program, but for Scratch, instead you drag blocks on, which represent the different bits of code, and you kind of make up um, kind of like a sandwich out of all of the code, and um, that makes things work on the screen. Um, so the first one I need to introduce you to is when green flag clicked. Um, obviously, I showed you before the green flag button, and whenever green flag is clicked, all of the scripts under this one would start working. Um, so it's kind of like a chain reaction, so that first, um, if there was one here, first this one, then that one, and they keep working until there's no more scripts left. Okay, so now we're going to start making the project. Um, the first thing we need to do is we need to make this scratch cat go over here, which is where he was at the start of my project. Um, so we're going to um, make a go to block in the motion section, and type in minus 100, because they have coordinate, coordinates um, where he starts. Um, so if we click the green flag now, we can see that this script will work. And look, he moved to where he is supposed to be. Um, so the second script we need to put in is a wait script. And then we're going to just put that in at the top, actually. Um, no real reason, I just like to have that wait script there. Um, and the next thing, you'll notice that in the other project which I showed you, um, he was thinking, hmm, at the start. That was the start of the project. So we go into looks, and there are whole sections. And we're going um, we're gonna to drag in, think, hmm, for two seconds. Now you can edit this block, you can edit the text, but we don't need to. It's already there. We can also edit the waiting time, but again, that's fine. Um, so the next thing that we need to put in is our other character, which is Gobo, and we're going to go find him. And Gobo is here. Um, so we also need to rotate Gobo. 
and we can go into looks, actually motion, uh, and you can click on this, you can click minus 90, which is left, and we, we click that, it'll turn around for us. And so Grover needs a script as well, and we need, at the start, he's off the screen over here, so um, he needs to start off like that every time. So we're going to go, and the coordinates are 250. Um, oh, and another thing, he'll be hi hiding, um, so you won't be able to see him. So if we click hide over here, we can see he disappears. We click show, he reappears. That's what they do. So at the start, we need him hiding. Um, and next, he needs to glide in um, to the coordinates that he should be when we need him. So over here. But we want to do we want him to do that after the cat the cat has finished speaking. So um, in total, he needs to wait one second because of this, that script, and then another two because of this one. So in total, he will be waiting three seconds at the start, and then he will um, appear, glide in, and then he will say his lines, which are, "What were you thinking?" He'll ask that. Now over to the scratch cat. And as we can see in the other script, he um, it took him one second to glide in over here, and then it took him two seconds to say something. So in total, he'll be waiting three seconds. And then when that's up, he will reply, I was thinking, hmm. OK, let's see if this works. Oh yeah, if you want to go into full um, presentation mode, click this button that my mouse is over and click green flag. Hmm. What were you thinking? I was thinking hmm. Okay, so hopefully you'll have made a simple project now. Um, in the next tutorial I'll be showing you how to make something more advanced, but we'll still be going for it step by step and it'll still be quite simple maybe a very simple game. Um, but until then, that's all I've got time for, so I hope to see you again.